not only do you want um, to know a clear why and strategy for your team, but you also want to know uh, very clearly who you want your team to be. And by that, I mean have very clear, understandable core values. Your core values should ultimately be your rules of engagement. They're the shared beliefs of your team and organization in terms of what is or is not acceptable for how they behave. And these are the things that will guide your team and the decisions and actions that they take, particularly in a time where things are in question or things are unclear. And that's what bond your team together um, and creates that empowerment that they know what is or is not the right thing to do. So when it comes to how you move forward once you've established you know, those core elements, um, you really want to be able to clearly communicate your vision to the entire organization. I think a lot of times having a vision or mission statement, you know, it's something that's very vague, but it's not necessarily brought to life. Not everyone fully understands how they can participate it. And that's a really key piece to making your vision something that's meaningful to your team. How do you create that clear path between what an employee does and how they move the company forward. As a leader, one of the most important roles you play is commuting, communicating that vision. Does everyone in your organization know where you're trying to go? Do they know which, what each and every one of them is doing when they show up every day to help you to get there? One of the tactics that Zazun uses is that every quarter we hold a company-wide um, strategic planning session that includes everyone, regardless of their role. And during that time, we'll review our vision, we'll review our three to five year goals, we'll talk about our one year goals, any tweaks that we need to make, and then set out our quarterly goals. Knowing and communicating your targets and numbers and finding a way to bring them to life. Are they going up or down? Is that good or bad? What actions do we need to take to improve as a team? That's what really helps all employees understand what's going on. Numbers don't need to just be a finance thing. Um, the more that individual team mem members understand how their actions will help drive those metrics up and down really helps to bring those to life. So the more that you're able to take your targets and numbers and turn those into actions, the more likely that um, they'll drive the right behaviors.